Three first steps for keto. Are you on a weight loss journey or are you trying to lead a healthier lifestyle? Regardless of what your answer might be, it's fair to say that the food you eat is crucial to the results you get. With so many nutritionists, fitness gurus, and meal plan experts offering advice, it can be difficult to find the right diet for you. However, navigating your fitness journey and diet plans becomes much easier when you do proper research and speak with a professional. One of the most popular diet plans right now is the keto diet. And although you might have heard about the quick results associated with this diet, do you know what it's about and how to start? Have you considered the fact that it might be different from what you've been seeing online? And also, how to start? In this video, we'll be providing you with the first three steps for starting a keto diet. Before delving into these steps, it's crucial for you to understand how keto diet plans work and the benefits you stand to gain from them. But before we go on, do consider subscribing to us as every video you watch will equip you with the knowledge to reverse type 2 diabetes. What is the keto diet? Keto is short for ketogenic, and this is essentially a reaction that takes place in the body when glucose is absent. In the absence of glucose, the body breaks down fats to provide energy for the body. And this is the basic principle of the keto diet. The ketogenic diet entails the consumption of meals that are less in carbohydrates but rich in healthy fats and proteins. So your body is relying on these fats for energy instead of carbohydrates, glucose. Now you might be wondering why glucose isn't the main source anymore in a ketogenic diet. The simple answer is that glucose isn't broken down completely. Usually, your body uses up the glucose present and stores the remnants as reserves. Depending on the amount and the type of food you consume, the reserves can keep increasing, which will eventually lead you to add more weight. Ketogenic diets cause your body to target the sugar reserves and burn down fat. Hence, the reason why the results are almost always faster than other types of diets, there are so many diets that you have probably tried that have yielded results for only a short period. Keto diets last longer and are more effective than many others. Benefits of ketogenic diets. There are so many benefits you stand to enjoy when you decide to switch to a keto diet. It helps with effective weight loss. If you are looking to smash a weight loss goal before the year runs out, you should try keto diets. As already explained, keto diets break down sugar reserves and burn fat for energy. This means that you will keep losing weight effortlessly as long as you're eating the right foods. Also, you will agree that it can be difficult to maintain a meal plan for a long period. More often than not, you find yourself going back to your old eating habits. With keto diets, you don't need to worry about that. By breaking down more fats, the body has the potential of reducing hunger-stimulating hormones. This means you get less hungry as you lose weight. Number two, it improves heart health. Unhealthy fats and sugars do more than cause you to gain more pounds. It also affects different organs, especially the heart. Do you know that high levels of unhealthy fats can cause cardiovascular diseases? Consuming meals that are full of unhealthy fats such as pork rinds or even vegetable oil can contribute to heart disease. The keto diet does not contain foods rich in unhealthy fats, so you would be reducing the risk of heart diseases by sticking to a keto diet. Foods such as avocados are healthy for the heart and rich in multiple vitamins. Number three, it reduces acne. Acne might be a popular sign of puberty, but there are several causes. It can be hereditary, and it can be caused by a level of blood sugar and diet choices. If your diet mainly consists of refined sugars and starches, it can alter the balance of gut bacteria. This could affect your health significantly. One of the signs your diet isn't the best is acne. There is so much research that links the presence of acne to bad diets, and keto diets will help take care of that. Some studies show that ketogenic diets can help reduce the symptoms of type 2 diabetes and PCOS in women. Although these benefits are yet to be confirmed, it's worth noting. Number four, it helps with brain function. You might be wondering how a specific diet can affect the way the brain functions. You probably haven't heard of this as a benefit of other diets. However, many studies have concluded that ketogenic diets may improve slash protect brain function. Here's how. During the breakdown of fat, when you consume a ketogenic diet, ketogenesis occurs. Ketogenesis means the creation of ketones. 
Ketones are known to have neuroprotective benefits, which is great for people that may suffer from Alzheimer's disease. Now that you're knowledgeable about how beneficial the keto diet is, the next line of action would be how to begin. Different questions are probably going through your mind right now, like what meals do you stay with? How do you make these meals? What do you buy? To help you out, there are three things you need to do if you want to get great results with the keto diet. Here are three important steps for starting the keto diet. As a newbie in the keto diet plan, it can be difficult to navigate in the right direction to take. This is especially so when you consider multiple opinions about what you should eat. However, the major thing you should understand about starting your keto diet is that you don't need to purchase so many unconventional products. Unlike other diet plans that would require you to purchase protein shakes and so many specific products, the keto diet requires minimal addition. Instead, you need to focus on removing certain items from your pantry. Step one, get rid of all sugars. This step might be a no-brainer, but sugars in this context refers to everything that has sugar in it, including those that you believe to be natural. For instance, fruit juice contains high levels of natural fructose and it will mess with your diet. Honey and molasses are also considered natural because of their high glycemic index. So yes, you need to get rid of the fizzy drinks, chocolates, cakes and snacks, but also these examples that were mentioned. Remember, the goal is to rid your body of sugars, which will then cause your body to naturally burn fat. And consuming sugary foods will only slow down your improvement. Step two, take out the grains. Some grains might be healthy and compliant with the keto diet, but they are generally not great. One of the most important grains you need to stay away from is wheat. Wheat contains high levels of a protein called gluten, which is inflammatory and generally bad for your gut and metabolism. Corn, rice and oats, unfortunately, fall under the list of grains you need to avoid. All of these grains can shoot up your blood sugar levels and derail you from reaching your goals. Oats are oftentimes recommended for diabetics, but the reality is you can do without them. You don't need oats at all. Step three, stop using vegetable oils. Vegetable oils might have vegetables on the can, but there are certainly no vegetables in them. A lot of these oils are full of unsaturated fat, and when they're heated as you cook, they oxidize and become harmful. These oxidized fats can cause heart disease through inflammation. Corn, soybean, canola, and sunflower oil are all inflammatory and unhealthy. You should also consider tossing out your margarine and Crisco as they are equally bad. Switch to healthier alternatives. The saturated fats like coconut oil, butter, or ghee for cooking purposes. Olive oil is good for consumption too, but it's best not to cook with it as it has a lower smoke point. Once you complete these three steps, then you're ready to start your keto diet and a healthier lifestyle. Before we end, remember switching your diet is a huge step and it takes a lot of commitment and hard work to stay on a healthy path. It's okay to take it one day at a time and seek advice from professionals as you go. Be sure to consult your doctor if you have a health condition you're concerned about. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more videos like these and we'll see you next time.